Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Rocky's Modern Life. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I made this electronic, battery-powered air horn. Now, if you like to work in haunted houses or you just like to scare your family and friends with those can air horns, you'll notice that they kind of get a little faulty and they run out pretty quick. So with that being said, I made this so I would never have to go through that again. And I think it's actually pretty startling, so stay tuned. So the items you're going to need in order to make this is this $20 drill, it's from Harbor Freight. Also we have this vehicle air horn kit, it comes with two air horns and an air compressor for $15. But if you use this coupon like I did, you can get the items for even cheaper. So on the website for Harbor Freight, they run this coupon monthly for 20% off any single item. So what I did was I took a screenshot of this coupon and I went to my local Harbor Freight store and I paid $16 for that drill instead of $20. And then I came back the next day and used the same coupon and bought the air horn for $12 instead of $15. But if you have a family member or a friend with you, you guys can just do two separate purchases and then you can get both of the items for 20% off on the same day. And any other items that you're going to need in this tutorial, I will show you throughout the video. So watch it first and make sure that you don't already have all of this stuff. This is my mini screwdriver set. I'm going to grab this screwdriver right here. It's a size zero Phillips screwdriver. So this is what the drill looks like. I took the battery off. And I just want you to get a good look at it before we take it apart. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is there's eight screws in this drill. We're going to start unscrewing the first screw. Side note, I wanted to let you know if you're always messing around with screws, you need to get this item. It's a magnetic parts holder and I got it for 99 cents using this coupon at Harbor Freight. It just holds your screws and they never get lost. Now, I'm taking out this top left screw from the drill and I wanted to show you this. It's actually smaller than the rest of the screws that come out of the drill. So the only reason I'm showing you this is because when you're putting the drill back together, make sure you put that smaller screw back in the top left hole. Alright, so now we have all of the screws in the magnetic parts holder. We're going to put that to the side and we're going to go ahead and lay the drill down and then you're just going to pry off this plastic piece and we're going to put that to the side. This is what the drill looks like on the inside. We're going to go ahead and show you what the next step is. I'm going to get my wire snippers here and I'm just going to snip off the black wire and the white wire that's connected to that motor. You're going to get the motor and you're just going to be able to pick it right up like I did and you're just going to put that to the side because we're not going to be using this. Now, this is the black and white wire. You're going to want to strip the end of these wires with your wire stripper like I do right here. These wires were about 20 to 22 gauge, so that's what slot I used on the wire stripper. So now I just twisted the end of the wires. Okay, so now it's time to put our crimp connections on. Now I had some car door speakers that I bought and these actually come in there for free. So if you have anything like that, make sure you do before you go to the store and buy extras. Now, like I just showed you, I'm gonna put each of those on the end of each wire. You're gonna put them on, crimp them and tug on them and make sure they're nice and secure. Once that's complete, put the cover back on and screw the screws back in. It's going to look something like this. 
Next, we're going to actually have to drill a hole into the top of the drill. Now, I didn't have a drill bit set, so I went to Harbor Freight and I used this coupon and got the drill bit set for only $11. It's actually pretty good quality, so I would suggest it. And remember, if this coupon is out of date, check Harbor Freight's website because this particular drill bit set is usually always on sale for $11 with a newer coupon. So now we're going to drill a hole into the drill right here as I'm showing you. So I drilled my hole and it looked really nice, but the problem was that the bolt that comes with the air horn kit did not fit into the hole. So I realized I used way too small of a drill bit. So all I did was got my chuck key and I took this small drill bit out and I put the actual right size it ended up being, which is a 3 8 inch drill bit. So I tightened it on here and then I drilled this perfect hole and if you're intimidated by drilling, don't be. This was my first time drilling also and it actually came out really nice. As you can see here, this is the hole. Take your bolt from the air horn kit and you should be able to twist it right on. It'll look something like this. And what I ended up doing was I got some pliers because it was kind of hard to twist. And I got that and I twisted it better into the hole. There's also a washer that comes with this bolt to keep it on tighter. So I got the washer and I just hand tightened it with my fingers as much as I could. And then I got these needle nose pliers held on to the washer with the needle nose pliers as so and I got the other pliers and I twisted the bolt so everything was so secure it's not going anywhere now once you get the bolt at a certain angle you could be able to slide the compressor on as so you just slide it on just like this and then you should be able to turn it gently turn it and it should almost feel like it's tightening at the same time which is a good thing and that's what it's gonna look like with the air compressor on it. It's pretty neat, right? So now we're gonna have to connect our drill wires to some longer wires. Right here I have some old 16 gauge electrical wire. So you can use something that you have laying around if it's similar, or you can go to your local hardware store and they have electrical wire like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect our wires to the drill wires. I'm gonna use this red line as my positive and I forgot to tell you earlier that the white wire in the drill is positive and the black is obviously negative so I connected my positive wire to my positive wire in the drill and then I connected the negative wire to the negative wire in the drill and as before after you're done crimping always make sure tug on your wires and see that they're secure. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna figure out about where we want these to be cut at in order to reach this area right here. So I figured out I'm gonna cut it right there. Now, I kind of made them a little too short, so always make sure and cut your wires a little longer than what you want so that they actually can reach. The next step is to strip your end of your wires as so, and then you're going to put on these female crimp connectors that will actually slide right onto the compressor. Here they are right here. These I actually just had laying around. They were actually too large, but you can get them at Home Depot for $3.23, and they have all the different sizes. I would recommend if you're using 16 gauge like me, I should have used the blue colored crimp connectors but this is all I had laying around. So now we're just gonna slide the wire on and then I'm just gonna crimp it on nice and securely. And just repeat the steps for the other wire. All right, now that we got our crimps on, we're gonna go ahead and just put positive to positive, negative to negative. You can see it very easily on the compressor. Connect your wires correctly. And then it should look something like this. All 
All right, so that's done. Now this next step you can skip if you do not want to paint your horns. I wanted to paint my horns black, so that is what I'm gonna do here. We got a good thing going. All right, so if you're gonna do this step with me, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off these black plastic parts at the end of the horn. Look at me, I'm soaring Seeing all the truth behind your eyes See you The next step is you're going to want to get some napkin or tissue and you're going to want to go ahead and ball it up as so Then we're going to go ahead and pack it into the horn as far as we can Now we're going to get our drill and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the wires from the air compressor. And we're gonna go ahead and tuck the wires into the drill. We're gonna take off this black cap. And then we're gonna cover this air vent. So I got some painter's tape and I'm just gonna cover this air vent so no paint gets inside of it when we spray paint it. There's also this hole in the back where air comes out of for your tubing. I just covered that with some painter's tape also. Then I got this wide painter's tape so I can cover our terminals here on our air compressor. So I just cut a little piece and I made it so we cover the little connection so nothing gets paint on it and it should look like that when it's done being that i'm only painting the compressor and the two air horns i'm actually going to gently twist it off as so and separate it from the drill so i can paint those items all right so when you're painting things you obviously want to go outside go somewhere safe i went in my backyard I put my stuff on this Amazon Prime box that I had laying around. This is some cheap spray paint from Home Depot. I think it's a dollar or less. And I'm just gonna shake it up and get to spraying. Just a quick tip if you're not used to spray painting, don't hold the button down the whole time because you're going to get runny paint. Try to copy what I'm doing in the video here. Alright, now that's the first coat of paint. I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a second coat of paint. So now we got our second coat of paint drying. Once this is dry, I'm actually gonna get this little styrofoam piece that I had laying around, put it in the grass here, and I'm gonna take the horns and I'm gonna stick them in so I can paint the other side that hasn't been painted yet. All right, so once you figure out how to get your horns to sit upright like I did, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start painting them. I'm not myself There's no one I 
So I just did the same thing here. I did one coat, let that dry, and then I did another coat, and I let that dry. And this is what the finished product came out like. It looks amazing. I love that matte black look on these horns. But we still have this tissue inside. So I had this straw laying around. If you have something similar, like a skewer stick or something, grab that, stick it in the end of the horn, and just poke out the tissue as so. The compressor came out really nice too, but we still have the painter's tape on there, so we just gotta peel off all of the areas that we masked off. So once we took off all the tape, we're going to put this black cap back on. And then it should look something like this. So now I'm just going to grab the drill and I'm going to slide the air compressor onto the bolt again and then turn it to where it is angled with the drill. Now we're just going to pull our wires back out and we're just going to connect them the way we had them connected. And I'm just going to connect these black pieces back to the horns. Now I'm going to use this zip tie to secure on the air compressor to the drill a little better. I got these 14 inch zip ties from Home Depot for a couple of bucks. Now grab your zip tie and put it through this slot as I'm doing. There's a slot on the other side that you should be able to pull it right through. Now just tighten the zip tie as much as you can. Make sure that this air compressor is nice and secured to the drill. And it should look something like this when you're done. Now I'm just going to get my wire cutters and snip off the excess zip tie. So now we're going to take our tubing that comes with the air horn kit and we're going to connect it here and to that Y piece that comes in the air horn kit also. I'm just going to cut off this short piece here. We got a good thing going, why we got a feel It should be about this size when you're done and we're just going to connect it right here. Counters I was spending by your side, you look at me I'm soaring, seeing all the truth behind. Once I got that on, now I'm going to take this Y piece here and I'm going to connect it onto the tubing. So when you're done, it should look just like this. So basically right here, I'm just showing you visually where I'm going to position the horns on the air compressor. So it should look something like this when you're done. 
And the way I'm gonna secure that is with another 14 inch zip tie that's put into this slot on the drill. Also, I connected the air tubing to the other part of the Y piece, but I didn't cut it yet because I still gotta position my horns and figure out the right length. So I'm showing you like this because I obviously couldn't hold the horns and tie it at the same time. I had to get a friend to hold the horns while I tied them and secured it to the drill. So once you're done cutting off the excess of your zip tie, it should look like this when you're done. So first secure your air horns to the drill, then cut your air tubing to the size that you want and connect them to the air horns. So right now I have it in the safety position where you can only put the light on which is really nice and bright. I'm going to unlock it by clicking it this way and it's going to make a really loud noise. You ready? Well guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial video. Check the description down below for links and extra information. Also, if you make this, let me know what you think of it. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean a lot for making this video. Bye guys!